Okay. Ooh, a late night Monday chat. Because today's Monday, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we're at Universal, right? TJ Maxx. <laughs> TJ Maxx. We're going to TJ Maxx. <laughs> Um, this live stream is the best. Oh, oh, that was just a sample user. That's not a real person. You think you're, you think you're too cool to say how, how cool our live stream is? <laughs> Hi everyone. Hello. We might be a teensy bit more ASMR-y this time. Oh. Because the baby is sleeping directly behind this wall. His bed, like, his crib is against this wall on the other side. So we don't want to wake him up. Yeah, that's true. We don't want to wake him up. How do we sound, by the way? Because this is, I got this as our, like, newish setup for the microphones. I can't really read. <laughs> hey, besties. Hey. You can't read this? Can you see it? Now? now I can see it, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Sounds, Sounds great. Good. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. good, good. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, this is the the podcast stuff, so I can be like, yay, exciting. Oh, I couldn't hear it. Well, that's because you don't have your headphones on. Oh, I can only hear it in the headphones? Well, they can hear it. Oh, okay. Looking and sounding great. Thank you, Jennifer. Oh, oh Mark's here. Hi, Mark. Tim, Ooh. making sure he's capturing audio. Lily's Craftery said that they were watching our Japan videos. Oh, I want, I want to go, go back. back. I want to go back. So we just recently went to the Lunar New Year Festival in uh, what part? It's in downtown Orlando, but what part specifically? It was the Creative Village. The Creative Village in downtown Orlando. And I was so sad because I was editing the video today and um, our microphone failed. <laughs> so yeah. you couldn't really hear. We have two. The microphone records the front and the back. So if you're in front of the camera, it records you. If you're behind the camera, it records you. But one of the one of those failed, and so you couldn't always hear what we were saying, and it makes me so sad because I was so excited for you to see that video. Yeah. Um. So we gotta uh, that video will come out later. We're just gonna have to do some voiceover work so that you guys can understand what's happening, enjoy it, <laughs> and hear us. Let me ask you guys this: Is there anybody out there that like knows audio front and back? Is there an audio engineer in the house? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Shelly has a great question. Uh, she says, Tim, are they ever going to release the Amazing Race Orlando video? We're not sure. We're just, we're not sure. It wasn't up to us. We didn't edit the video. It's up to the people who were running the event and we're just not sure. So I'm really sorry that you guys haven't seen that yet, but right. we don't want to give out who won because if they do release it, we don't want to, we don't want to give it away. Yeah. But... Sorry about that. Me watch. Oh, I thought. <laughs> I, oh, it says me watching the HHN video when Tim is a vampire, and I was like, yeah. I didn't read the whole thing. I just said me watching when Tim is a vampire, and I was like, <laughs> Am I a vampire now? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I I need to know. So Shane says best YouTube audio is Gerald Undone, but mm, okay. I need somebody like here because I have to ask the question. Oh, yeah, but maybe you can, you maybe can they, watch their... Oh, Jabroni's going to Disneyland Paris next week. Man, so excited. Yeah, they said they were in Kuwait. I know. I'm oh, gonna... Mike Taylor, audio engineer. I like that. It's a they, good business card name. Are they in here? Yeah. Oh. All right, you ready for this? Oh, they have a... <laughs> I see it now. Mike Taylor, here's my question. <laughs> so we have a microphone that goes on top of the camera, and we have two of these microphones that splits the channels right and left, but it splits them front and back. Does that make sense? The set of the, the microphones being right and left basically turns it so that they're front and back. And like the right is the back microphone and the left is the front microphone. With one microphone, it works fantastic. You can do it in any order that you want it to. Like if you want it to be forward, it sounds great. If you want it to be back, it sounds great. If you want it to be both forward and backwards, it sounds great. Mm -hmm. We have another microphone that's by, by Sony. It's like made specifically for the camera. Mm -hmm. And if you have it just on the front microphone, sounds great. If you have it on just the back microphone, sounds great. If you have it on both the front and the back of the microphone, it sounds tinny. Hmm. There you go. 
That was my question. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like the, the microphone stuff directly affects me because I edit the videos, but I have to say it's so boring. Yeah. I just kind of zone out when you talk about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry. Mace, uh, Marcy Lopez says, where can I join the Patreon for that tracks? Mm. Uh, Patreon.com slash that tracks pod. Oh, Matt said it sounds Timmy. No, it sounds tinny. Tinny, like, like inside of a tin can. Yeah. My husband does it, but unfortunately he's not home right now. Oh, oh, no. Oh, they said, Tinny makes me think that the noise suppression is not working right. But if I turn off the back microphone, it sounds great. If I turn off the front microphone, it sounds great. It's just if I have both of them on together, mm -hmm. it sounds terrible. Um, Reb says, will you ever do an all-star staycation? We did. We stayed at all-star I don't remember when that was. It was before the kids. So it was a long time ago. We should we should do another one. Yeah, we should. But we did stay there. I think it was after an after hours party or it was like a late night event that we didn't like. We we just wanted to like not have to drive all the way home. So we stayed at one of those hotels. I think it was that's... after Moonlight Magic. Ah, uh, OK. Um. Ooh, Destiny said, any update on the new merch? Uh, yes. So we did get our new logo. We got our new end card and we did get some like drafts of the new merch and it is coming very soon. I want to roll it out all together. So we're going to roll out the new merch, the new logos, everything will happen on the same day and everything will switch over to those things on the yeah. same day. Yeah. Um, and we're not going to be using Spreadshirt anymore. We're going to have a new place to buy the t-shirts and so we'll talk about all of that when we release it but mm -hmm. i'm very excited i cannot wait everything looks very cool oh they say olive garden staycation <laughs> could you imagine if you slept in an olive you probably smell like right. i can't i can't imagine what you would smell like <laughs> please oh i thought it said do not stay please do a stay at the drury inn at disney springs oh i want to yeah we will oh amanda's in here hi she said, the verdict is in. You have to try Slim Chickens. Yeah. So I saw your tweet and it looks like, just like, um, what's his name? Guy. Chicken Guy. Chicken Guy. It looks just like Chicken Guy. So that's pretty exciting because I like Chicken Guy. Wait, where is the Slim Chickens at? Remember when we saw it by Fat Burger? Yeah. I thought they were still building it. That's what I said. And she was like, no, they have their grand opening on the 26th. And I thought... It didn't look like it was ready. It literally didn't. I, are you, <laughs> it, is there another she, one around or something? No, because they the were one. literally like. She posted a picture from there. It opened. It was like still a dirt parking lot or something it looked like. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, Amanda said, I've been nonstop watching your wisdom tooth videos. I got mine done last week. Was trying to get an idea of when you could eat normally. I'm struggling with the weight. So when could oh, you I, eat? I don't know. Hmm. It was pretty terrible though. I know because the wisdom teeth thing, <laughs> I I would n do not recommend. Well, you ha you can't not you just have to do it. Like you got to do it. I know. You can't not recommend it. Get your wisdom teeth out teeth out if, if you, you need, need to. It, yeah. yeah. Well, that was I feel like mine was like optional. Mm. They're like you could do it like now or like just wait. I guess. And I, I was mean, like, it was probably I'll do it now. It. <laughs> but then we actually had already booked our state, like our our Fort Wilderness stake like stay. Um, before you had your teeth out and then when we went there you couldn't eat anything couldn't eat we had hot dogs and s'mores and yeah, uh, all eat that. Any of that stuff oh ali said do you have a date for jackson's ear surgery i've been thinking of that little buddy thank you um we haven't had it yet we are on the waiting list and i gotta be honest with you when they told us the date that he was gonna have it done it's months and months away yeah so i was like what the heck yeah <laughs> like, especially because the ENT was like, it might be sooner than you think. And I was like, oh, good. Well, Because it's such a short surgery. It takes 10 minutes. He's like, they can usually squeeze them in. It'll happen sooner. And I was like, oh, that makes me feel so much better because we're constantly de dealing with the ear infections. He's literally on an antibiotic right now for an ear infection. Right. And so I was hoping that it would happen sooner. But yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of waiting. We're waiting for the day. But as soon as it's done, I think he's going to feel so much better. Wait. I had my wisdom. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Said I had my wisdom teeth taken out, and then at a dentist last year, they randomly told me I grew another one. I don't think they grew another one. They just they maybe they missed one. They missed it. Yeah, because I, I don't think you grow them. What? Did, is that what it said? That's what it said. No, I don't think you read that right. Look. <laughs> Are you sure? 
This is right here. Right here. I had six wisdom teeth. To find another one. If you, maybe they missed it. Maybe they didn't grow another one. Where was it? Oh, Starfall wants you to go back to Volcano Bay. Oh, yeah. Um, I would love that. I want to go to Volcano Bay. It's so much fun. No, they said they didn't miss it. What? It's a small one. What? I'm so confused. Like it, it grew in? You grew another one? Oh, Amanda said she never got her wisdom teeth. I guess some people don't get them. You can you can't grow. Oh my gosh, Juliet said they found an extra wisdom tooth when removing my tonsils last year. Sometimes this is gonna be <laughs> sorry. This, this is gonna is... take a weird tangent, but there's a um a disorder where like your organs can grow teeth. Oh. You like yeah, like you can like you can have like a clump of cells in your body that like they'll remove it and there will be teeth on it. Let's not talk about that. I'm just saying <laughs> that's. <laughs> Um, interesting. I only have three with some teeth. How many did I have? I had four taken out, right? I think so. I had four. I think I had six. Actually. Yeah, I had four taken out. Um, I couldn't, sorry, I missed it, but somebody said that we need to go to Bucky's, which I do want to go to Bucky's. Oh, they were doing training at Slim Chickens when Adam went by there after we left Fat Burger. Oh, really? Wow. Oh. I know a baby who was born with four teeth. I saw, actually, I saw that. Whoa. You know what's really funny? <laughs> um, so somebody messaged me and was like, hey, Jen, they're using your video of you giving birth on this other channel. It was about unique births. Yeah. And so they used it about, which I had, this had nothing to do with Jackson, or I think it was, it was Oliver. Oliver. It was yeah. Oliver. This had nothing to do with Oliver, but they used a video of me and him um, about a baby that was born with a lot of hair abnormally long eyelashes oh that's what it was it was abnormally yeah. long eyelashes and they called you kate kate olson yeah <laughs> yeah from arizona <laughs> and i was like what it was pretty funny um so if you ever see that video that's that's me but it's not me <laughs> right Ooh. okay so brad says waffles or pancakes and i already mm. know the answer mm -hmm. waffles waffles but um the thing is is that today I'm sorry I'm trying to like I'm trying I'm trying to remember what I need to say um I got my hair done today and it was sort of like downtown and right next to I, and then I went to have lunch which this will all be in a home blog but after that I went to have lunch and next to the lunch place was this little um like consignment shop for kids like kids and babies and they had this game they had new stuff too but they had this game and it was like a game called uh, how well do you know me or do you know me? Do you know me? I think that's what it's yeah. called. But it was like a game that you play with your kids. It's a card game. And it asks like different questions to start like fun conversations with your kids. Yeah. Salty or sweet. Yeah, like that kind of stuff. And so that was like one of the questions was like waffles or pancakes. Yeah. It's like when you're getting off of a uh, spaceship Earth. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're like, do you want to live in the city or do you want to live in the country? In the farm. Yeah, yeah. Or do you like traveling by space travel? Or <laughs> no, do you, would you rather be in a self-driving car? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it was really cute because Jackson, one of the things was like, what's what are your three favorite things about yourself? And, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Kevin said, Kathy Hilton wants all of your teeth. <laughs> she does. Is that so that is there, she's homeless and not toothless? <laughs> stop <laughs> no she she likes to she's like a dentist she's like a like she's an not amateur a dentist no she's not but she thinks she's an amateur dentist she, you can't be an amateur dentist D she literally talked about it on the show about how she would like file people's teeth and like remove people's teeth yeah kathy hilton why is she filing who's filing anybody's teeth i think the dentist can do that why because sometimes people have long teeth Sometimes people have Kathy like... Kathy Hilton. I know. But really, really quick. Back What's her to, dentist name? I don't know. He probably Hunky like Dory. does not want to be named oh, Hunky Dory. <laughs> Dr. Dory. Dr. Dory. Um, so, but the thing that Jackson said, one of his favorite things about himself was his heart. Oh, yeah. I go, what's three of your favorite things about yourself? He goes, my heart. And then he said, my poop. <laughs> he did say his poop. <laughs> but I thought it was so cute. He's just like the, he's just like the best kid. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you a fan of real hosiery? House hosiery. Oh, I thought it was like hosiery, like 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 uh, pantyhose. Oh, 
I only like fake pantyhose. Uh, <laughs> you, did your opinion on Luminous change after your last visit? Yes, I liked it better. Mm -hmm. But uh, still liked Harmonious best. <laughs> oh, doing Adventures by Disney at Disneyland next year. Any Ooh. tips? You don't need any <laughs> tips. That's what's so great about Adventures by Disney. Oh my gosh, they do they everything. They do it for you. We even, when we went to the Lunar New Year Festival, we ran into one of the guys that was... Uh, Christian. Um, yeah, Christian. His he's adventures adventure guide Disney Christian. Christian. Oh, I think he took the Disney out. I think it's just adventure guide Christian. Yeah, yeah. It used to say Disney, but um, he was one of the the guides on our trip, the trip where I found out I was pregnant, and then he got to meet Jackson and Oliver. Yeah. When we went to the Lunar New Year festival, you were was, pregnant with Jackson on this trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he got to meet them both when yeah. we went to the festival, and it was just so cute. Um. Do you want to build a tooth, man? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh, are you planning any Six Flags trips? Not at the moment. Well, I'll tell you this. Ooh, wait. Brianna's going to do the Rhine River cruise in May for yes. adventures. Man, I'm so jealous. We're Can like I come? I want to come. <laughs> waiting uh, for the kids to be old enough to go on. We were talking to Christian about that because I think the like the youngest that you can be is five on like yeah on like the river cruise you can yeah, be five you have to be five but then oliver also has to be five so right. we got a, we got a little ways away Ooh, kayla <laughs> wants to know our if we're... Uh, ray from this life of ours just texted me and she's like i can definitely book adventures by disney for you yeah well in, well, five, we years, in five years yeah <laughs> in we gotta five wait years, but yes yes we will we'll give you a call in five years uh i had something else that i was gonna say no i don't remember oh no just want to let you know that i didn't remember my parents want to get a winter house or rent something in Orlando to be close to Disney. Any suggestions? Um, I don't. That's there's so many people yeah. always ask us like, where should we move to or where should we buy a house? And there's so many. There's like a lot like, of factors. Yeah, I can't be like, I'll tell you exactly where you should buy your house because <laughs> I, I know do, everything I, about. I do think you should probably talk to a realtor because they can give you like professional advice, <laughs> whereas we don't really we're not like professional realtors, you right? Know? But. Ooh, would you go to Singapore? Sure. Yeah. What's is there? Is there a park there? There is, right? Isn't that um, Universal? Yeah, there's a Universal over yeah. there. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Florida's full. <laughs> what do you recommend wearing to an Everglades tour around this time? I. Oh man, that's hard because like it's hot. It yeah. depends on what time. Are you going the first thing in the morning because it's cold? Yeah, it's like hot and cold. I would wear layers. I would wear long sleeves and long pants though because there's so many bugs in yeah. like the marshy areas. But I would they would be make sure that they're light. Yeah. Light like colors, light. You know how like fabric. fishermen wear like PFG? Yeah, wear like fisherman clothes. Yeah. That's what I Become would wear. Become a fisherman. <laughs> be the Gordon's fisherman. <laughs> no, no, be, don't wear that. Be the Gordon's don't wear, fisherman. Don't wear like a galoshes. Yeah, wear it. <laughs> wear the hat. <laughs> It'd be so hot. <laughs> Grow a beard. Grow a beard. He, wear, he has a beard. Get, blo, uh, white, white hair. <laughs> Gray hair. <laughs> so oh, that's he, what I was going to say. What, what, what? So there's going to be a total solar eclipse of the sun <laughs> this year, April 8th, right? And I was like, it's the path is traveling directly over top of Cedar Point. And I was like, man, we should go. We should go to Cedar Point. Oh, yeah. Let's like make a trip out to Cedar Point. <laughs> and then they don't open until May. They're closed. Because I forgot. <laughs> The moose out front should have told me. I know. But like I always forget that like other places close. Like because Disney and Universal just like <laughs> they stay open. They're like we're open. We're not closing. We just stay open year oh, round. It's the Gortons fishermen. Gortons? Not Gordons. What? Is that a Mandela effect? I think so. I don't. Is it Gortons? Ooh, Amanda wants to know if the Gatorland would be fun for a seven and three year old. Yes. I feel like it would. Because, you know, like, what kid doesn't like snakes and alligators and, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would say yes. Gortons. I feel like... Is that true? This is Mandela Effect. This looks wrong. <laughs> Look at it. Has it always been that? It looks incorrect. Is the guy still the... Is yeah, he you still see him the, right there? He looks, he looks scary only because... because <laughs> he I, looks, there he is. Because of... He looks beautiful. Because that's a beautiful man <laughs> um he looks scary because of i know what you did last summer oh because okay, the, yeah. the killer hook, in the movie man. was hook, like okay. a the gordon's fisherman trusted since 1849 
Is there a Wikipedia on this? <laughs> I don't think it is. Did it true? used to be? Maybe they, Gordon's of Gloucester. Oh. It's a British thing? No, that's like a that's like a Maine or Massachusetts. Glo- Gloucester is like a like a what's the thing up in the in the Oh my god. In it's, the corner it's of the country. It's a Japanese company. Like they're Oh, it's, it's a Japanese it's country. Japanese co- it's, no, it's a Japanese company. It is? Yeah. Since when? I don't know, it's a subsidiary of the Japanese what's food the conglomerate Northeast, Nippon. Right? Yes. Maine. What's Maine? The nor- uh, the northeast. Yeah, but is, you know how there's like the Pacific the Northwest. New England. New England. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's got a name. Is in, in it Massachusetts? Is yeah. Mike. Mike says Gloucester, Massachusetts. Mike. Not only is he a, a a an audio technician guru, he's also it's he's the guy from. He's the Gordon's fisherman. No, no, no. <laughs> Mike Taylor is the Gordon's fisherman. No, 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 no. Breaking. No. no. <laughs> That's what he does in his free time. When he's when he's no when he's like you can't just fish all the time. Gloucester. Um no Gloucester. He, said, he said that it's um he's the guy from Maelstrom. Oh, okay. Which, yeah. He is that the guy makes from sense. Maelstrom. Who do you think the C is listen listen to this? This oh, is a fake company. It's Gloucester. Yeah. Gloucester. It's founded. Uh. In 1849, as John Pugh and Sons. Okay. John Pugh. Gloucester. His son, William Pugh. And listen to this. What do you think Gordon's name is? His first name. Gordon's, Gordon is the last name. Gordon. <laughs> G- Gordon. G- <laughs> G- Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> what? Right? It just sounds right. It's incorrect, <laughs> but it sounds great. Gordon, What's Gordon, name? Gordon. <laughs> what is his name? It's Slade. <laughs> no. S- Slade Gordon. I just like, that's wrong. <laughs> oh my God. And then uh, the current CEO, Kurt Hogan. I'm so confused. I thought you said it was a Japanese com- company. Yeah, they're, I mean, the parent company. Is a Japanese company. That's confusing. But, but they bought him out. Oh, John they- Pugh, <laughs> no longer the owner. The, oh, the history. This is what I need to know. What have we been looking at this whole time? <laughs> Just reading about it. <laughs> ah, the company traces its roots to a fishery called John Pugh and Sons. William Pugh, son of John Pugh, picked up fishing after serving as a colonial soldier in the French and Indian War. Oh, he, this is an old company. Yeah, we went over the date. It was 1849. Oh, I thought it was going to be like, he picked up fishing like after getting off of his shift at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I didn't 1849. It... <laughs> it goes further than this. Okay. While most people moved west after the war, Pew turned eastward and arrived in... Gloucester. What it's was it? Glo- Gloucester. Gloucester, England, yeah. Massachusetts, in 1755. Oh no, Thomas. Thomas. What happened? Sorry, late to the party. What are we talking about? Uh, what aren't we what talking about? What aren't we about? talking about? <laughs> oh, look at this. Any plans to check out the Evermore Hotel in Orlando? Funny, you should ask. That is funny. <laughs> John Pugh, uh, the son father of, and son, of son of Pepe Fisher, <laughs> <laughs> emerged as an official commercial company in 1849. Wow, this is great. Oh, my goodness. The cotton mill burned down and Slade Gorton, the mill superintendent, was out of a job. Oh, no. Oh, he began his fishing business in 1874, which is known as the Slade Gorton and Company. I don't understand. Okay, so anytime somebody says Slade, I just, I think about Slade Smiley from uh, Real Housewives. There's somebody named Slade Smiley? Yeah. That's a that is a, a, a horror movie name. He's like kind of a villain. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like a villainous name. Okay. In nineteen oh six they merged oh, that's into funny. the Gorton Pew Fisheries. <laughs> um the Pew Two says Pew seems like a strong name. Oh. <laughs> Look at you guys. Well it's spelled it's spelled P E W. Oh, it's like P U. Yeah, Pew. Oh no, it's like pew like a church. Is like that a how church you spell pew. a church pew? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yeah. There you go. Right? It was bought Unilever bought Gortons from General Mills in 1995. And in 2001, Unilever sold Gortons to and Blue Water Seafoods to Nip Nippon. What well, I really feel like these people did not amazing. come here for this. 
175 million in cash. In cash. Who? That's what it said. That's, that's what, what they the, bought it for? Yeah, that's what the Japanese company bought it for. Really? In cash. I mean, I guess Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> Gordon Gordon. I still can't believe that. Um ah. Okay, anyways. How do the fireworks at Tokyo Disney compare to Disneyland Disney World? So I'll when tell we, you what. When we went, I think they have updated them since we went. Yes. Because when we went, it was there was no projection. It was like going to Disney World in like the 90s. Yeah. It was just fireworks, just a castle. Right. But now I think they have a projection show. But also like the thing that you really want to see is the parades. Yeah. Oh, the parades are so good. They're so good. 75 million oh. cash is a lot of fish. <laughs> that is a lot of fish. Um, Bridget says, Tim, it's our birthday soon. Oh, oh. Bridget's birthday too. Bridget, you, What me? are you doing for your birthday? You asking me? No, Bridget. Oh, Bridget. Bridget, what are you doing for I your birthday? I know what you're doing for your birthday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday. We're going to celebrate your birthday and the baby's birthday. Oh, yeah. I know. We're having a birthday so party for the baby. we're throwing a big birthday party for the baby, and it is, um, I think we went a little overboard, but it's going to be all worth it because we couldn't do a big birthday, like a first birthday for Jackson. So this is kind of like a party for everyone. The Real Housewives of Gloucester. <laughs> um, oh, Michelle. Oh, sorry. I almost. <laughs> sorry. Michelle says you might even say plenty of fish. Oh, yeah. In that's that a, that's fee. A, that's a dating app. Oh, is it? It is. Yeah. Oh, okay. How do you know that? Well, because I have friends who, <laughs> I'm not, you know, it's really funny. We've talked about this like several times, but so Tim and I have been together for 20 years. Yeah. So we have been together since before dating apps. So I have never been on a dating app. Somebody goes back to the fish stick talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. We were, we were dating before the dating happened. The, we were. The, the dating apps. Yeah. We were around before apps. We were around before apps. We were around before the internet. We were around before the internet. <laughs> Ooh, have you guys done the Wild Africa Trek going in March? No, but I want to. We were, we were around before the Wild Africa Trek. <laughs> were we? To, not together. Well, we were around before Animal Kingdom was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. That is true. 20 years of tooth <laughs> conversations. <laughs> um, oh, Kirky's in here. Hi, Kirky. Oh, here's a good question. What's your favorite juice? Like to drink? Oh, so the question's what's your favorite juice? Um, oh no, the baby's moving. Who's I good? am a big fan of um I like orange juice and cranberry juice mixed. Oh. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. Yeah. I also like orange juice. I feel like that's a thing being from Florida. You're like only allowed to like orange juice. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's your favorite dish oh um i think um a mug because it holds hot things and cold things and my, it feels nice in your hand my favorite is a chafing dish no i'm making it i know oh, okay I know, I know. <laughs> you've been together since before invisalign hmm? really there you go what are some what <laughs> When when did we get together? Um, I don't was remember. It, it was like two thousand and nine. Ooh, wait. No, two thousand and four. Um, Erica has a real question, a cruise question on the fantasy. Where do you eat during the day? So you can eat at the um the places around the pool, right? Which, off the top of my head, because we went on the wish last, I can't think of what's around the pool. Like uh, flows. Flows. That's what and it is. Maters. Yeah, like so you can have hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, they chicken do, sandwiches, like, I think, like salads, chicken nuggets, yeah, French chicken fries, nuggets. So, yeah, pizza. Um, you can also, <laughs> you can also do uh, if Cabanas is open, you can go to Cabanas. Can you guys hear me? Okay, I feel like this is not where it needs to be. You, yeah, you're doing great. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, Casper, hi. They said very important question. Could you please visit Joybird used books in Orlando and Winter Park? Yes, I will. I will do that. That sounds awesome. Oh my gosh, Zachary said I was 10 when you got together. Oh no. Sorry. All right, you ready? Sorry, we're old. 
Here's some famous things that happened, some historic things that happened in 2004, the year that we got together. Oh, okay. The construction on the tallest human-made structure to date, the Burj Khalifa, begins. Oh, they just started building it? Yeah. Wow, I don't know why I thought that was an older building. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg launched Facebook. Whoa, really? Yeah. Wow. So we we got together just as Facebook was. I remember my friends talking about Facebook. I remember them being like, I got a Facebook ID. I got a Facebook. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, Ashton was one when we got together. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. These are, uh, oh, Eurovision Song Contest takes place in Istanbul and is won by the Ukrainian entrant Ruslana. Wait, is with this the, the song first, the Wild first, Dances? The first no, it's time? Just oh, oh, okay. The 2004. Oh, Chris is in here. Hi, Chris. That was the year that he came back to America from Japan. 20 years ago oh wow there you go oh i have to tell chris so chris sent us he went to nintendo world in um california and he sent us like a cool package of stuff from nintendo world and we had had it set aside because i was trying to figure out like where i wanted to put everything and jackson saw the box and was like because now he plays nintendo and he loved everything right like yeah. he's he's a nintendo boy now so um, I just want to say thank you, belated from Jackson, because now he understands like what Mario is. Right. Um. So yeah. The world's tallest bridge. He was very excited. Ooh. Oh, Amanda has a good question. What does Tim want for his birthday? Ooh. What do you want for your birthday? What do I want for my birthday? What Zach said. There's so many ads. How Are there so many ads? There shouldn't, there's not supposed to be so many ads. Oh, yeah. Alyssa, Mario Buds. We still call it Mario Buds. Um, why are there so many advertisements? Why are there so many advertisements? We set it to moderate. Oh, no. Disney Taurus has had two ads. How long have we been live? Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't see. I didn't. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, no. Let's see. I'm sorry. So when you start your live show, um, YouTube will ask you, like, how many do you want aggressive ads? Do you want moderate ads? And we said moderate. We did not 32 want 32 minutes. Oh, we didn't want them to be aggressive. So they're happening like every 15 minutes. OK, I'm sorry. Oh, somebody got zero ads. But also we're not doing like super chats or anything. So it's just a little bit of the, you know, some people have had one. Some people have, have had eight, eight, eight ads. 10? <laughs> no. Are you guys just saying numbers? 37. 30, 56. <laughs> uh, Every five minutes the ads are? No. That can't be right. That's pretty wild. I can't imagine. What would the aggressive ones be? I don't know. That seems like... Be like every very... 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah. It's okay. old. Well, sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Um, about three ads. Oh, no. Oh. Bingo. Ooh, are you going to any concerts this year? What? Any con Aren't we going to that one? Did you buy the oh, tickets? Oh, no, I didn't buy tickets. <gasps> no? I'm sorry. I thought you did. No, I didn't. Well, I thought we were going to get a box with our friends. I thought so, too. And we didn't? We didn't, no. Oh, who? I forget who it was. Who was it? Wasn't it Death Cab? I can't remember. Yeah, it was like the... the <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, should we go to this? And I'm like, yeah, I like doing things. <laughs> oh, somebody got a Gordon's commercial. Did you really? That's amazing. No, is that is that a lie? They, why would he make a commercial? He has $170 million. Right. He doesn't need to put out a commercial. He left. <laughs> oh, yeah. YouTube Premium. That's where it's at. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, Kevin said, any plans for the Strawberry Festival? Yes. When? When is that happening? Like, when am when, I going? No, when is oh. the Strawberry Festival? Uh, The day after Flower and Garden Festival. Oh, okay. It's like... Friday? Friday. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, one time we went to the we Strawberry to Festival. We um, I feel like I don't really want to go to Blink-182 right now. Why not? <laughs> well, because it's 10 o'clock at night. Oh, no. you're just like... <laughs> no, because I, I just feel like I'm too old for that kind of music. It would be like so loud. You know what I mean? Give me another Harry Styles concert. I'll go to that. That was so loud. No, it wasn't. That was the loudest concert I've ever been to in my life. <laughs> you are such a liar. It was so loud. Oh my gosh. No, it wasn't. But so... Oh no, the only thing that is off for me is the video quality. What? Uh, that's your internet connection. I was going to say, because we it looks pretty good over here. Harry Styles is not touring, I know, and I'm sad about it. 
Um, Maybe he'll tour again. When do you think he's going to make another album? Actually, just sing the old songs. I'll listen to that. <laughs> you want me to? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> you were going to sing it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what was weird? Ooh, what are you most excited for uh, for Flower and Garden? Asks Haley. There's like 60 new food items. Yeah. Michelle, what? do you guys remember Homestar Runner? I asked Nick if he knew who Homestar Runner was. He's like, yeah. no, I have no idea. The ugly one. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, Trogdor. Ucha, ucha, one, two, three, cha. <laughs> Work, kissy, boost. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> um, when I was in college, I dated somebody who worked for Homestar Runner. That's weird. I know. He hmm. was really weird. <laughs> Seems like he would be. <laughs> he was so weird. I can't even like. The stories that I could tell you, I can't even tell you because this is a family channel. Oh. That's how weird he was. All right. Teen Girl Squad. <laughs> I'm in me mom's car. That's different, but. <laughs> um, I like Strong love that. Bad. I love that so much. And then somebody in the comments, it kind of made me sad. They're like, they're like, we get it. You're in your mom's car. Okay. You can stop. And I was like, oh, <laughs> but I like saying it. I'm in me mom's car like in a sad like in a sad voice though oh who's an artist you like before they were famous Ooh, before they were famous um picasso <laughs> <laughs> you're so dumb <laughs> didn't he die like a long time ago no he died pretty recently oh like he was alive in the 80s picasso picasso in the 80s yeah i don't believe that when did picasso die i don't know <laughs> kirky goes get out me car <laughs> oh, my oh God. 1973 okay so not the 80s <laughs> but look at him see there he is wow yeah yeah oh no <laughs> how did he die um oh we talked about this i think oh right i don't know i didn't look oh no that was the other guy van gogh we talked about that oh yeah, yeah and then we know. were like whoop um i made me mom's car i like beethoven before he's made <laughs> wait what uh who's it i want to know who's somebody that you like before they got famous okay so for me i smell like bees it was um when i was in middle school i just recently told this story to not the internet but i think i have told the story on the internet at some oh, point yeah, yeah but so okay when i was in middle school i <laughs> gabriella said jesus Jesus. <laughs> um, so i went um if you didn't miss any days of school you got to go to this thing called the stay in school jam and it was for anybody who had missed zero days of school for um i think for the year and you got to go stay in school jam right yeah it's called That's the stay in said. school jam yeah. yeah and it was a concert at the arena but back then it was called the arena because it was the like Orlando the only arena. arena now it's the kia arena which is i hate that Right. Like we passed by it today and I was like, I do not like that. But <clears throat> anyway. She's a purist. I just, no, I just did. I just don't like, like, stop doing that. We also used to have a place where you could buy Orlando Magic stuff that was called the Fan Attic. Yeah, it was the Fanatic, but it was spelled like an attic. Yeah. And they tore it down. I don't understand why. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, okay. Uh, but I went to the stay in school jam and the people that were at the stay, it's like a free concert. They give you a concert at the arena, like a big concert. And it was in sync, 98 degrees and the quad city DJs. So yeah. I was a fan of in sync before they were famous because they literally had not like released their album yet. Mm -hmm. They were releasing it the next day at Walmart and they were in the Walmart parking lot signing CDs. Yeah. And I almost went with this girl named Tiffany. Oh. But I, I didn't go because I, I couldn't get a ride to Tiffany's house to go with her to the Walmart. Isn't that the worst when you can't but get to she, Tiffany's house? She has a signed, t like the si the very first signed NSYNC CD. Yeah. So there you go. That's who that's who I was a fan of before they were famous. Who was in NSYNC? Was Joey Vitone in NSYNC? Yeah. He was at Universal today. I know, with JoJo with Siwa. With JoJo Siwa. Yeah. They were filming for Access Hollywood, I think. Oh, is that what it was? I kind of yeah. wondered why they were hanging out together. Um, I like that. Wait, what about you? Who's your? Who did I see before? No, who they, did you like before who they did were I famous? Like before? Yeah. I don't know if I liked anybody before they were famous. No. No, I feel like I liked Jimmy Eat World before they had a hit on the on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know. That was it. That's my <laughs> <the> Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Gordon. Gordon. 
<laughs> Gordon, Jojo Susan? <laughs> <laughs> Susan? Oh, Shannon. Shannon says, do you think I could walk a Run Disney 10K? You might get swept. Yeah, so. But you can walk it. There's, a, You'll have to double check this, but uh, my dad got me an instinct autograph before they were famous and I threw it away. That's what somebody said. Oh, um, how dare you? But you can uh, see what like the slowest time that you can go is. And if you can walk that fast, I think it's like 16 minutes per mile. Hmm. So, like, if you can walk that fast. So, there are these these ladies at the back of the race that carry balloons. They're called the balloon ladies. And you have to... Wait, did you already say this part? No. Oh, okay. They have... They, you have to stay in front of them. If you get behind them... What? Hootie got arrested. Hootie and the blowfish Hootie? What did he get arrested for? I don't know. I got to look into that. Um, but... Oh, wait. Is this Michelle Pratt, like, the Michelle Pratt? Dave Michelle Pratt. Like our Michelle Pratt? Probably. She's maybe. our Michelle Pratt. No is it is that who that is? Maybe. Um but yeah, if you if you get behind the uh the, the balloon ladies, they sweep you and you have to like leave the course. So that's what being swept means. When people are like, I don't want to get swept, it's they don't it is. It is our Michelle Pratt. There she is. Yeah. So are you, she's gonna be here for her B Day. Yeah. What, is, what should she do for her B-Day at Universal? Is she going to be just at Universal? She said, what should I do for my birthday at Universal? Oh, okay. Uh, Velocicoaster? Mm, okay. Yeah. Where should she eat? I don't know. I feel like what's a good birthday? I, I feel like Universal isn't really like known for their food. Right. Like where would you go? Maybe to like Circus McGurkis? They have new food. Oh, yeah. Just go. Birthday? Circus McGurkis. <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself some Gordon fish sticks. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe um, Mythos. Mythos is good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we're going to be there. We will be there. We'll be there for your B-Day. You tell us where we're going. Correction, what should we do? We'll be there. Uh, oh, Cowfish? The Minion Cafe. Oh, the Minion Cafe. Yeah. Do you love yeah. Minions? I got to look this thing up about Darius Rucker. Oh, they said he got a DUI. Oh, DUI. Oh, no. That's a thing that famous people do. Darius Rucker. Oh, Tiffany Ann said she'd like to be a balloon lady. I feel like it would be... I wouldn't want to be a balloon lady only because I would... I would, like, slow down so that if I saw somebody, like, directly behind me, I would, like... I don't think I would be... um, You couldn't do it? But they're not the ones that are sweeping. It's like the the security guards on bikes behind them. I know, but I just wouldn't want anybody to be swept. So I would just like slow down a little bit each couple of minutes. And so I don't think I'd be a good balloon lady. uh, Rucker was arrested on two counts of simple possession or casual exchange of controlled substance. And one one count of violation of Tennessee vehicle registration law. Oh. Misdemeanors. Uh oh. Oh, it was a week or two ago. Oh, I thought it said it's it says it's XXX Taylor. I thought it said it's Jax Taylor. And I was like, Jax Taylor's in here? <laughs> the guy with the show now? Yeah. And dropping the, the hoodie knowledge. But dropping no, the it's not knowledge. it's not Jax Taylor. <laughs> um oh, he has a kid named Jack Rucker. That's oh that's really? a good name. Yeah, I like that. Uh no hoodie. No hoodie. It's a, for whatever reason, I don't know why. But um, Google has their booking fee for for, for Darius Rucker. Yeah. Oh, how much? Uh, three hundred thousand to four hundred ninety nine thousand. What? For one concert? For a concert. That's so much money. <clears throat> that's not so much money. Oh my gosh! Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, for your backyard, that's a lot of money. Yeah. But for the arena. The arena pays for them to come and play? Yeah, they, they pay and then the arena takes the ticket. I didn't know that. I thought yeah. they just like went out. <laughs> I don't know why. It's I thought like they just like. Fee. I don't know why. I thought they just like. Just showed up. We're like, well, hey, I here thought we they are. Were, like, they were like, we're going to be in Orlando. Like, hey, we're going to be in Orlando. Hello, Kia Center. <laughs> I'm in me mom's car. <laughs> mom's car <laughs> heading towards Orlando. <laughs> Can that's, we can we play at your house? I thought that's what they did. And they were just like, I need to make money because you, you make money by touring. Right. I didn't think they also paid. The, I didn't. I just don't know why I didn't think about that. But like, think of that, right? 
Darius is there. He's yeah. driving around. What does he do? Ben says Say he book, does, him, book him for Tim's B Day. Book him for my birthday. Just a, a cool three hundred thou. I got probably that. a little bit more for a smaller venue. Right. So like how many how many dates could you have across like fifty dates? Yeah. Right? Oh my gosh. And you're getting paid three hundred thousand dollars every time you play. Probably just say, we'll split the difference. What did I say? Four ninety nine and three hundred? So That's so five, much money. So four hundred thousand. It's twenty million dollars. But that also pays for everybody. Wow, that's wild to me. Right? So that's like, like all of the grip guys, all the sound guys, all the lighting guys, your band. Wow. So like Darius isn't walking out there with two, two, $20 million after 50 dates. Wow. Knock, knock, Kia Center, can I come play? <laughs> um, oh, Nat says, do you have any plans to stay at the Grand Floridian anytime soon? We have stayed there um, a few times and we we really liked it a lot. But I don't have any plans anytime soon to stay there, no. But we do have some good videos from our stays from there. We had some really, really good times there. Yeah, right now, the only hotels that we have booked, uh, we've got what? two stays at the fort booked right now. Oh, yeah. We have three cruises booked. Three cruises booked and two stays in California. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, Tracy wants to know if you've ever done the Starlight Safari at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We have not, but I want to. Yeah, me too. I want to do it. I gotta. We gotta go back. We do. We gotta go back. Uh, uh, so anytime, sorry, Carmen. Carmen is saying hello from Guatemala. And anytime somebody says Guatemala, I think of when I was in Spanish class in uh, eighth grade, ninth and tenth grade. We had a song that we had to sing. And it was about all of the Latin American countries and their um, their capitals, their yeah. capital cities. And Guatemala's capital city is called Guatemala. Guatemala, so, Guatemala. Yeah. Have you? Did you ever sing that song? No, I've heard you sing it before. Though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, Mexico, Mexico de F. Guatemala, Guatemala, Uruguay. Like, have, did you guys, <laughs> do you guys know what I'm talking about? It was a song that you had to sing in Spanish class to learn the country's names and their uh, capitals. Did you guys do that? Or was it just me? Just you. The only thing that I learned was like um, United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, <laughs> Peru, <laughs> no. Republic Dominica. That was it. Montevideo, Uruguay. Yes, that's it. Mike Taylor does everything. Mike Taylor? Sound audio engineer. Do you have a sibling named Jax? Knows every country's capital. Oh. What was the other thing that he did? I forget it already. I don't know. Remember? He did something earlier. He knew how to say Gordon. <laughs> no, there was something <laughs> else that he did. Um, did anybody know that song? In Canada, we learned French. Oh, Leslie says, your wrestler friend seemed nice. That was the first time I ever met him. Yeah, he was so nice. He's a very nice man. He was so super nice. His but yeah, Tank. He's, uh, he's like the real deal. Real deal wrestler. Real deal wrestler. Did, did nobody know the song? Just the a couple of guys. Did they? Wow. Que donde la biblioteca? What does that mean? Yes, they say. Thank you, Bethany. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Jackson Brittany are not done, are they? Is that true? No. They Adventurous Life be. of Mindy. Yeah, that can't be right. They have a TV show that they just started. They just started a TV show. That'd be silly of them. Maybe that's why. Wait, let me just look this up really quick because I don't, I can't believe that. Uh, I taught Spanish last year and we did it every day. Tim sings? <gasps> what? Is that true? That's not true. What's happening? It says, Brittany Cartwright alludes to taking space in marriage to Jax Taylor. What? They just started this show. Maybe they're just talking about like they, they, they go off in their own direction sometimes. They're like, I need some space. And they're like, she goes to uh, um, What, like in a different room Malibu. of the house? Malibu. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like she drives, you know, like two hours away. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> um, I think it's a publicity stunt oh. too. I think it is too. Because there's no way. That makes sense. I'm going to watch the show. I'm going to hate the show, but I'm going to watch it anyway. Why are you going to hate it? Because I don't care about the other people like i don't care about Kristen doty 
I don't care about these other people that are like That's new. You're supposed to. I know, but I just don't like, see no, myself so caring about them. The point of the show is to is get, to you get to me care to care about, about them. Yeah. I guess I felt that way about Southern Hospitality too. I was like, I don't care about these people. But then I started to care. So oh. maybe maybe they'll get me. Maybe. Oh, I forgot the laptop stickers were showing. Oh, wait, Amanda. What? Oh, the laptop. Oh, they are? Um, She said, oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. I, m- I missed it. It went away. Hold on. Let me do this really fast. What's happening? Uh, where is it? We went to DAC today, and I'm finally seeing that it's more than a zoo. We actually really enjoyed it. Tim was at Animal Kingdom I was today. at Animal Kingdom today. Yeah. I didn't realize you were there. Did you um, see me? <laughs> did you see me? <laughs> um, the lines Michelle were said, so long today. Oh, wait. Michelle said, when do you think HHN will start? I have to leave early from Florida for my paramedic school, and hopefully it'll be on August 30th. Yeah. It starts in, in August, doesn't it? August 30th? Oh, no, it doesn't. It starts in September, no, like the 5th, right? It starts in September, right? yeah. What so day? It starts the first weekend of September. Let's see what that is. The but first weekend of September. It might be sooner than that. Ooh, so that would be like the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Yeah, and I, oh, I'll, I'll be I'll be running. Oh, because you're going to be on, doing the Disneyland race. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I don't think I don't think Tim will be here. Would you go to space? We talked about this. We talked about this in a home vlog. I'm going to say no. Oh. <laughs> um, so we are doing all, all Disney cruises. Some people were asking what, what cruise lines are we doing, and we're doing Disney cruises. I know that not everybody loves the Disney cruises, and they want us to do other cruises, but for right now, the cruises that we're doing have significance there's a reason why we're doing these Disney cruises. We're going to be sailing on the Treasure. Yeah. And then we're also going to be seeing Lighthouse Point. Right. So there's like reasons why we're doing these cruises. And then we're just going on a Disney cruise. But that's... <laughs> <laughs> because we like it. Yeah. So that, But that one is... um That's like a fun Jackson's out of school type thing. Yeah. <clears throat> we don't have any non-Disney cruises planned as of yet. Um, ooh. I'm not like really like motivated to go book a non-disney cruise i they're just the cruise ships are so big yeah and i know that's like enticing to other people they're like oh i want more space i want more like stuff but to me it's overwhelming so maybe one day what do you do what do you mean like what do you what are you doing all the time on these cruise ships like do it where do you when do you meet mickey they don't (laughs) when do you see goofy (laughs) they don't have that right when do you go see the live action little mermaid I mean, you when don't. do you watch brand new still in theater movies? Maybe I haven't watched anybody's cruise videos from Royal Caribbean, so I don't know. Maybe they have cool stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I think we're just creatures of habit and we like what we like, and I apologize. Very sorry. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe one day we'll go on the Icon of the Seas, but I also like it's so big, it right. kind of scares me. I don't know. Bumper cars, ice skating. Yeah, they have. They do have a lot of stuff, from what I understand. Ice skating seems difficult on a cruise ship. That's like. I mean, I don't think they're like <laughs> so wiggly. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, Lorcana cards. Uh, I still don't really know what it is. I think it's like Magic: The Gathering, but like Disney. Yeah. I just think they should bring back um, the game, the one. Source of the Magic Kingdom? Yeah, just bring that back. But that would, you know, I think that's, this is like the answer to that, right? I, I don't, I right? think like maybe. You, not everybody can go to the Magic Kingdom to like play Sorcerers. Mm-hmm. Amy said, I went on the Icon and it was honestly the best cruise of my life. I mean, Why? We'll, we'll look into it. Oh, no. North Sea Cruising. RC Wonder of the Seas. Oh, Royal Caribbean Wonder Seas. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, oh, you can oh, only you... ice skate when it's docked. Okay. Oh, well, what the heck? That makes sense. Bandit One or DeLorean. What is that? What's Bandit What's One? What's a Bandit One? I saw Mr. Peabody and Sherman on a Royal Caribbean cruise when it was still in the theaters. Oh, all right. <laughs> book, book it. I'm going. Get me on that cruise right now. Um, are we going to D23? Yes. 
Oh. Going to see Kung Fu Panda 4. Is that, or is that just a statement or are you asking us? What is you? Oh, wait. Hold on. What is one of your must-have baby products for Disney? We're expecting our baby boy in May and going to Disney in September. Um, must Diapers? have baby. No, <laughs> I would say I would a get fan. a fan. I would get a good carrier. I would get a fan. I would get. We even have like a. Um, it's like an air conditioning unit thing. Yeah, it's know. like a cup full of ice that has a fan that blows down into the ice and then out over top of you. But I just think people don't realize how hot it is still in September here. <clears throat> so yeah. I would, yeah, cooling, things to cool off. Speaking of which, yes, anybody here that is going to uh, Flower and Garden Festival, mm -hmm. put on your sunscreen. Oh, yeah, this is the first sun, this first sunburn of the year. First sunburn of the year. Yeah. <laughs> Put on your sunscreen. Um, Ooh, good breakfast pr places off property, but not too far from Disney. I would say breakfast places. The one, the 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 one at the Four Seasons. The breakfast buffet. Tranquilo. The one that's like the Disney breakfast buffet, oh. but at the Four Seasons, you know. Yeah, I don't What's remember it what that one was called. We went. We did it. It was really cute. Yeah, and um, then also the one over at um, Swan and Dolphin too. What was that? There's like character breakfast there too. What was it? I can't remember. I don't know. Um, they're not like on Disney property, but oh no, I'm sorry. Are Swan we... and Dolphin one is on. This is Disney. so late for us. Here's what happened last night: we didn't sleep at all. So like, oh my gosh, yeah. That's why we were so so willy nilly when we first started. <laughs> the baby about... did not sleep. He he keeps doing this thing. He goes and he just does it forever, and he never stops. Yeah. And he never goes to sleep and he just makes that noise and it's um like insane it's insane i don't know why he's doing it right well he's so, teething but like what's the noise that's him crying but it's not a pacifier it's not, it's not even a cry it's not even a cry it's just him being like awake yeah he's just he just makes the noise and then he like wiggles around and he'll do, he'll put one arm up and hit me in the face yeah and he'll go like this and just hit me in the face and then go and I I'm had like, to like hold happening? him away from me the other day because he was like just smacking me in the face, and I'm like, "Why are we doing this?" <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! You got to replace the batteries. Oh, and the That's baby. Like, general bedtime. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, oh, you should wear sunscreen year round. Oh, you should for sure wear sunscreen year round, but definitely don't forget your sunscreen at Flower and Garden. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's what he's doing. He's self soothing. That noise. Yeah. How, who's that soothing? Him. I don't think so. Okay. He should go to, it should make him go to sleep. Go then. to bed. Yeah, then why doesn't he go to sleep? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's definitely, um, right now is a tough time in the house. Ravello. Is that what it is? Ravello. That's what it is. Yeah. You're right, Suzanne. Thank you. That's is... the name of the, um, the place where they have the, the buffet. Oh yeah. I was With like, I've heard this it's name like, before. It's like Disney. It's like Mickey and Goofy in their, um, golfing attire because. But not like golfing but like resort casual golf it's not it's like, like golf. because like when i think of goofy and golf he's wearing like those like pants yeah he had those pants did he have on. those pants on? yeah oh. he also it was kind of funny because it's not like a disney resort it's the four seasons um <clears throat> goofy was like massaging our friend yeah but it was like a kind of weird <laughs> it was like a little bit weird um so it's just like you never know what's gonna happen <laughs> you know and the food was so good and the price was not horrible comparatively. <clears throat> oh, Michelle says ferberize him, but we can't because he's teething. Yeah, we can't. Oh, Amanda has a good point that he's he can't sleep because he's excited for his birthday. Oh, yeah. And I he might be, you know. Aaron he, says, you think second baby is feisty. <clears throat> I think three and four are worst. All right. We're not, uh, we're not having any more. We're not doing that. So. <laughs> I can't. I just I feel like we would have to move to a bigger house if we had more kids. There's just like not enough space for everybody here. That's um, true. But also somebody asked, what sunscreen do we use? And we use we, we used to use Sunbum. And Sunbum isn't bad. I still like Sunbum a mm -hmm. lot. But we currently use Super Goop. Um, what's the name of it? Super Goop, the clear one. Uh, sheer. Sheer screen, I think. Yeah. It's the clear one. It feels like... Um, it feels like... Uh, What's Creamy baby powder. What's the stuff you put on your face before your makeup? 
foundation? Primer. It feels primer. like primer. That's I don't know. What it feels I, like. That sounds like foundation to me. No, that is makeup. I know, but like if you were to, to talk to somebody that like doesn't know what makeup is, yeah. what's the first thing you put down? The foundation. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. The primer. But that's what it feels like. It's amazing. Oh, Why man. not live in an elephant vacation home? The price is not bad for one year. Because we have a house right now. Right. So I don't want to I don't want to live in another house. Oh no, my 2-year-old was allergic to super goop. Really? Oh no. Oh, it's a silica-based sunscreen, maybe. Yeah, it might be. Face spackle. Huh. Uh, Sheer screen can be used instead of primer. Yeah, I like that about it. I think that's really nice. It's not a Gwyneth Paltrow. Hers is hers goop. is just goop. This is like a a different Oh, maybe that's why they called it that. They're like, you like goop? We got super, super goop. goop. Ours is super goop. You know why she why it's called goop? Because she wanted her first and last initial, and then yeah. she just put two letters in between. Yeah, because she heard that successful brands have two letters that are the same next to each other in them. It could have been geep. Could have been gap. 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 <laughs> could have been, I almost said gope. <laughs> could have been gope. Goop. Could have been Goop. <laughs> it could have been yeah um are there allergies in florida oh so many every, like ridiculous. every single one yeah this, uh we walked outside maybe like last week and just all everything was yellow it's yeah it's pretty horrible actually it's Washing ruining all of our furniture outside from our balcony in olani whilst our two-year-old takes a nap oh i'm so jealous i want to be there we haven't booked. Oh, I want to go to Alani this year, but I haven't booked it yet. We had a stay at Alani oh. last year, but we canceled it. Um, and I'm sad that we did, but well, we'll go back one day. And they said any must do's while they're. So I think if you're, you should go to um, go across the street to the monkey pod. Yeah. Because that was good. The food was all very delicious. Go to the secret beach, which is in like two coves over. Yeah. Where they do the, um, the luau, yeah. the like authentic luau. <clears throat> go to but don't stay in that cove go to the then when you get to the secret beach then go to the left through the rocks and go to the secret secret beach well i mean if you are comfortable doing that do it I'm not trying to like you will get cut up yeah we we were all bleeding <laughs> <laughs> at the end of it we were all bleeding yeah except for jackson because i like put it. him on my back <laughs> and like <laughs> but, but um also Go to uh, do the Kolo Koloa Ranch. Koloa Ranch was really good. Yeah, like yeah. everything there was amazing. Um, I would say go to uh, like so. We went to Waimea Falls, and that was actually one of my favorite memories. Mm -hmm. One when we went to Alani the the second time, um, I loved it. We all Jackson swam in a waterfall with us. Like yeah. it was just it was amazing. It was fantastic. I would say go to Dole Plantation to get like a real Dole Whip. It tasted like nothing I could explain. Right. It was Oh, fantastic. one thing that we didn't do but a lot of people recommended was the um, the History Center, like the Cultural oh, yeah. Heritage Center. Or so it was. we had planned to do it on our, on our trip that we had canceled. But um, yeah, the History Center, the Cultural Center has tons of stuff for kids to do too. So especially for a two-year-old, I think that they would have lots of – Cool activities for them to do. Secret Beach towards the Four Seasons of Paradise Cove Luau. Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Is the beach at Alani worth it? Because every photo I've ever seen makes it look like a swamp compared to clear water. Um, I mean, no. It looks amazing. Maybe you're... I don't know. I, I think mean, it's great. <laughs> when you... when. Okay, I could see where you're saying, like, if a bunch of people have been in, the water's not... Oh, it gets, like... It like, gets, like, silty. Like, me, all, the, all the bottom is, like, moved around. Yeah. But, no, it was... Fan I loved it. So, I would say, though, if that's your take, go to the Secret Beach. Because that one is, like, clear and beautiful, and there's turtles, yeah. and... Yeah. And also, like, I have a, a video where I went snorkeling at Electric Beach, and, like, that was clear. And that was mm -hmm. just, like, out in the ocean. Yeah. So like he saw a whale. It was very cool. Yeah. My fajitas. Um what? What? Don't recommend the Polynesian Cultural Center. It's pretty unethical and super touristy. I don't are you what? talking about the same place we're talking about? 
Yeah. Because the one that we're talking about is like an actual museum. Um, I don't, I haven't, I hadn't heard that. Yeah, that's the first time, that's the first person I'm hearing say that. Yeah. Have you taken the Bright Line train yet? No, but I really, really want to. And I think Jackson would love it. We should do that one day. How's the time change with the toddler? Terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> um, uh, it's okay, though, because it goes back. You just have to wait six months. <laughs> any updates on buying an RV? We talked about it, and I think we're going to wait until um, the newer models come out. Yeah. But also, like, uh, so I, I talked with the guys at Alliance RV, and, like, I like those. But also, there's this other RV called a Pebble. That we can't afford, but <laughs> it's real cool. It's like, you know how everybody oh. like, the, nobody likes backing up an RV? Yes. This one, you just unhitch it and you control it like a remote control with your phone. Oh, that's amazing. You like just drive it in with your phone. Um, that's and a really And you can, good it idea. has that same camera like ours has where it like looks like you're looking at it from above. Yeah. So you can like see what, else, where, like where you're parking it. That's, I didn't know that. Yeah. But it's very expensive. It also is an electric car, basically. So it has electric motors. So it reduces the weight of the trailer behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it reduces the strain on your car by taking some of the forward momentum and using electric motors. Mike Taylor coming in with the, the fourth thing. Mike Taylor. <laughs> um, he's got all the, the tips for RV buying. He says, don't buy a new one, buy a used one. Everything goes wrong. Make the first owner take the hit. Yeah. It's true. Oh. The fall donuts person said get the pebble. I would love to get the pebble, but I think it's very expensive. It's $125,000. Yeah. We don't we don't Not for like I don't have that for like a thing that I can't use all the time. Right. You know? Oh no. Adara um says I'm sleepy and I'll watch fully tomorrow. I uh Agree. I'm also oh. sleepy. Oh my gosh. What are you guys we... looking into an RV for? Who? RVing? <laughs> <laughs> um, what are ooh. your D23 tips? It changes every year. You got you to gotta go with the flow. I feel like D23, you have to be, be ready for the crowds. Or I've never ready been. ready for the chaos. But just, just editing the video, I don't think I ever want to go after editing the video. Too crowded for me. Yeah. So I don't love that. You also got to watch what you're saying. Why? Because you never know who's around you. Because they showed us like a a clip of Avatar Way of Water. And I got out of it and I was like, that's terrible. Why did they show us that? I wish I hadn't seen that. They're like, it was a waste of time. And then, what's his name? The the producer. Steven Spielberg. No. Who's the, James Cameron. The other one. Not, he wasn't there. Stephen he like, King. He like zoomed in. He oh, yeah. He didn't there. Go, he's like, I know people are going to hate this. I'm not showing up. What's, it starts with an L. Oh, no. What's his L. name? Leonard Nimoy. Leonard Nimoy was right there. <laughs> no. Uh, rest James. In peace. Rest in peace, Leonard Nimoy. James Land Lando? Oh, Not James. Okay, no. Paul Lando? I don't know. Gordon? <laughs> Gordon Gorton. <laughs> Gordon. He was Lando? right behind you with his hook hand and he said, I'll get you. Oh, is D23 more crowded than Megacon? I, I would say yes. Yeah. I would say yes. Well, I remember walking through Megacon and being like just shoulder to shoulder with people, but only in some spots. I think it's in, I think the, the D23 is in a bigger John space. John Lando, that guy. He was right, right behind me and I was like, Ugh. Lando Calrissian. Oh. <laughs> was right behind you. Herbie Hancock. <laughs> um, Any D WDW resorts you haven't stayed at yet, but want to. Boardwalk? Oh yeah, we haven't stayed at Boardwalk. We That's haven't stayed at the one? Yacht Club. We stayed at the beach oh, yeah, we club. Stayed at the beach club. We didn't stay at the yacht club. We. I would like to go back and I would like to go back to animation, art of animation. I want to go back to the tree houses. Oh yeah, I want to go back to the tree houses for sure. Um. Um. Yeah. Buy an RV. Best thing we ever did. <laughs> Ethel Merman. Um. I think that. Ooh, ooh, favorite purple carrot recipe recently. Did you have a favorite? Um What's your favorite one that we made recently? 
that we made recently. I like those sloppy joes. Those were pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were vegan sloppy joes. They were good. They were a little spicy. I liked it. I can't. I don't know. Oh, Battleground Biscuits are here. Oh. They're here. Oh, so, uh, wait. We, Amber <laughs> says, have you heard about Galactic Star Cruiser returning in May of 2024? Who said that? I don't know. Where have you heard this? Let me look. But they, they said, did we miss anything? You missed, you missed so, so much. much. <laughs> You'll have There's, to go back and watch from the beginning. You're you're going to be it was wild. blown away. I don't know. You might not be blown away, but it was definitely a wild. The conversation went everywhere. Maple Street Biscuit Company in Celebration. So we, we went liked to the, it. We went to the one. What, did we go to the one in Celebration? Celebration? Yeah. yeah, it was good. Um. So wait, what was what the question? What I had, I didn't like. What did I order? Because I was like, I you, didn't like You just it. had the regular. Sorry, hold on. There was something that I ordered that I didn't I like took the guy's recommendation. I was like, I'll have that. And it wasn't I didn't I didn't like it. Would oh wait, what is this on? Fox. Okay. Um, a themed hotel, immersive experience, blah, blah, blah. Just over a year after the resort opened. Disney's statement about the hotel closure, they said bookings would be temporarily paused and would reopen on May 26, 2024. That's not true. Is that true? No. They said that like last week. What? They said it on February 6th. That wasn't last week. <laughs> but they said it on February 6th this month. What? Is that true? Who who said this? Coming back for a limited time in an all new way. Is this true? I don't know. This is inside the magic, so I don't know how true this is. I don't even understand. Let's see what they say. Oh, permits were filed, but probably for maintenance. Oh. That's definitely not true. Star Cruiser is permanently closed. Yeah, because like, what? They, fi they filed permits to demolish part of it. <gasps> no. Are they really going to do that? Oh, that makes me so angry. What? Why would they do that? Uh, it's definitely not true if Inside the Magic posted it. <laughs> I mean, not to be like shady, but I don't think what they say is true half the time. Um <laughs> Dang, uh, what's an ideal time to eat at Narcusi's? We ate... Oh, see, that's hard because the fireworks. Yeah, so we we ate right when they opened. We didn't have a reservation, but we were staying at Grand California or Grand Floridian. And they were like, if you just come the second that we open, we can usually get you in. And so we showed up like right when doors opened and they got us in. And it was great. But we were there in the daytime with no fireworks. But we loved it. It's true. The tax implications... Oh, that makes me sad. I don't want them to get rid of it. I want it to come back. You guys should make your own merchandise brand. Um, so we do have merch coming out soon. And uh, I hope you guys like it. We have a new logo that we've got. Um, we love it. We have a new banner that goes on our YouTube channel at the top. We have a new end card that goes at our videos at the end. Uh, we love it all. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. And then we also have some oh, sorry um some t-shirts and merch like different merch coming out as well and we're not going to be using spreadshirt anymore we're going to be using another company but i i think that you guys are really going to love the stuff that's coming out yeah. oh we should do a toast the ghost shirt no that's not that's not on this this drop but maybe the next one i got actually i'm going to write that down so i don't forget uh, our thoughts about epic universe Looks i'm excited yeah so jackson watched um tr how to train your dragon for the first time he watched how to train your dragons one and two and i think he started the third one he loves it he watched it he sat there and watched it all the way through which was so funny because the first time i put it on he was watching it you know the opening scene of the very first how to train your dragon and there's like fire everywhere and like explosions he goes this is boring can we watch something different i just i don't I think like, he's into Whoa. that <laughs> but he watched it and he loved it um pixie dust fam says you guys gonna do jelly bean eggs again for easter yes that is our tradition we do it every year we plant our easter eggs we do it we are gonna do it um oh darren markley says it would be cool if you had a pop socket as part of your merch so pop socket doesn't do collabs like i can't create a tim tracker pop socket yeah i tried to i tried to order a bunch of them and i sent in our that little thing our logo. that's at the top our logo and yeah. they're like no can't do that yeah so they do it with like really famous people they'll do it for but like just normal people like us they're like you can buy them and give them away for free but you cannot sell them right 
And so we were like, ah, okay. <laughs> even no, I couldn't even buy them because they wouldn't put our logo because I feel like they did like a revo- a reverse Google image search and saw that it was our logo. Oh. And they're like, that's somebody's logo. And I was like, yeah, it's mine. I it's me. I'm the problem. <laughs> I'm 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 the pop socket now. <laughs> and they're like, no, sorry. You can't even we couldn't even buy one. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. Oh, Matt says, my mom's car merch? I can't. That's a vine. That's like some girl's. Here's what I want to do. Some girl. That's her thing. I can't. I just say it because I like it. You know how there's those people on, excuse me, TikTok that do the thing where they're like popping popcorn in the oh, hair yeah. straightener and saying all the things. Ice like, cream. Ice so cream. Yummy. So yummy. Yeah. I want to do that, but with um, old vine references. Oh, like, Where people put it in the chat like, I'm in me mom's car. And I have to go like, I'm in me mom's car. And pop a popcorn? No, I just want to. I don't understand the popcorn thing. I think it was just like to do something. Oh. Because she's, the only thing that she's doing is just reading like super chats. Yeah. Like donations. Yeah, yeah. And so to give like some other form of entertainment, she's like just popping popcorn. That's her entertainment. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. And so I want to... Uh, do, do it that. <laughs> every time somebody donates you have to put a, a potato, potato flew around my room, room <laughs> before you came uh they were I love, roommates i love it oh my gosh we should do this yeah it's to tease you to tease what do you mean to tease you the popcorn, popcorn? yeah give me another <laughs> uh fine reference i'm like into it now i can't my favorite one i can't say I smell like bees. <laughs> no. Um, we are gonna have you the world is our my croissant. Oh yeah, we are gonna have the world is our palm tree merch. I'm very excited about that. Ooh, okay. Um, Aiden says we're headed to Universal in a couple of weeks. What are your thoughts on Dockside and In Suites? We loved it. We love Dockside. I think we yeah, stayed at great. the other one, Beach. What's it called? Beachside. Yeah. Right. This is Endless Summer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we stayed at the other one, the beach They were one. great because they're like, you pay for just a regular room, Yeah. but you get like a giant room. I think we paid like $119 a night. Yeah. And, and we got- It's a two room. Yeah. It was fantastic. Like, like the bedroom is off on its own. Jackson had a place to to like, he, he was in his own, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like reading your comments. Um, He had his own space to sleep. We weren't in the same room. Surfside. That's what it's called. Thank you, Juliana. Surfside. Um we the food was good the pool was good the only thing i will say is that it didn't smell great like walking to our room what oh there was like something it was like people were oh they were doing a little bit of the old uh the wacky tobacco yeah. <laughs> like it's that's what it smelled like in the hallways um but once you got in your room it was fine uh best cookie flavor we have about three merch michael michael says about three merch we do we have one was that a florida discount room i don't think it was like dockside like dockside beach code like endless summer is very reasonably priced yeah i don't think we got a discount that was legitness (laughs) yeah oh do you have an lg oh a large electric bill with your solar panels and did you notice a difference with the new car did you notice a difference with the new car in the in the the price like yeah with when you started charging two cars no because we don't charge the tesla all the time okay so like the tesla just it it just used for short trips so like it just we charge it like once a month Mm, okay and so i didn't there's not i don't know what do you have a knife no (laughs) (laughs) Hmm. Ooh, Diana, that's a good question. They were asking if we can like our is our old stuff gonna go to our new shop, our new merch shop. <clears throat> I think we might pick some of our favorites to yeah. bring over. Not all of it. But not everything will go to the new merch shop. I think some will be retired out of commission. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, any recommendations out in Walt Disney World currently for my honeymoon? For what? For your honeymoon. Like stuff to like, do? Go get a massage somewhere? Ooh, I would say go to Bull and Bear. It's like, it's, it's like still, Walt Disney. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's a it's good like neighbor a, hotel or a partner hotel. Yeah. It's like near Disney Springs. Yeah. I would say do. It's in Bonnet Creek. Bull and Bear. Ooh, go to Wine Bar George. Oh, yeah. I would go to, depending on when you're going, I guess, I would go to 
maybe go to Epcot because there's lots of places to take pictures. Oh, yeah. You can pretend like you like went. You can pretend like you had a honeymoon in France. Yeah, like you had an international, like yeah. you went to every country. And then you went to Morocco. Yeah. And you went to Japan. Then you ended up in America <laughs> somehow. Yeah. And then, you know, continue there from there on out. Ooh, Cindy has a ding dang t-shirt. Well, thank you. Nice. Thank you so much. Ooh, um, Reb says, are you would you like to stay at the Pixar Place Hotel? And I think you're you are staying there. No, no, we switched it. Oh, did we? Oh, okay. Yeah. I would like to stay there though. Should I switch it back? <clears throat> um I saved I about two thousand dollars by not staying there. Oh, did you? Yeah. Wow, yeah. Just keep no, it where we're like three. No, oh. it was like two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Stay where you're at. <laughs> yeah. Um, Joel says, will you still have plus sizes? We will. We absolutely will. And I actually think that this new merch company is going to do better because one thing that I noticed, people would send me pictures of their, of their shirts. And there was this one person actually it was multiple people sent pictures where they were in like three X, um, and up and the, they didn't change the size of the logos right. for the size of the shirt. So it wasn't proportionate to the shirt. Right. And I didn't love that Spreadshirt did that. I think that they should, the logo should match the shirt. Like it should be proportionate with the shirt. Right. So this company does do that. Does it? Yes. Okay, good. So I'm, I, I think it's even, it's going to be even better um, going with this, this company. Have you ever stayed at a Disney World Good Neighbor Hotel? Yeah. Which one? At, um, well, we stayed at the Hilton and the Waldorf. Yeah, those are good neighbor. Yeah. Um. What else? We stayed somewhere else though too. Yeah. Ooh, where do you recommend staying off property near Disneyland? We're going for the first time in April. The only time we ever stayed off property was right across the street. What was that place that we stayed at? Right across the street was it the Fairfield Inn at uh, Disneyland? Yeah. Oh, e- I don't remember. It's like literally right across the street from the sign. Yeah. Um, the only thing I didn't like about that, and I think we talk about it in the video when we checked in, is that somebody was smoking cigarettes right outside of our door. Yeah. Because it's like the kind of hotel where your 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 door to the outside goes like out to the parking lot. Yeah. Like a like a motel kind of a hotel, you know. Um, and somebody they were they were just sitting outside the door smoking cigarettes, and I was like, oh no, I can smell this in my room, and I don't like that. <laughs> right. And then I've um, stayed at the um. Ooh wait, at the Mil- Hilton over there by the convention center in Disneyland. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. real fast though military mouse says would you ever do bioluminescent kayaking we have and we loved yeah, it it's a good time we loved it we use a company called bk tours adventures yeah bk adventures you should totally look up our video where we went bio bioluminescent kayaking it was amazing it was so beautiful we absolutely had a, a fantastic i was very pregnant and i had so much fun yeah hit in the head with a like, fish oh yeah because the fish what kind of fish was that uh uh, cod, I don't know. Oh, what? Cod. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said cod. <laughs> cod. Um, but they were like jumping into the boat. It was like wild. Uh, oh, it was oh, a, mullet. a mullet. That's what jumped into the boat. Into the boat. Um, Nayeli. Ne- I'm sorry if I'm not saying oh, that Espinoza. right. Espinosa. They said Drury is amazing. Really recommend. I we want to stay at the um the Drury for sure. Yes. I really, really... So Tim did a tour there and it looked so, so cool. Oh, it was a Gordon's fish. It was a Gordon's fisherman. God? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm staying... Uh, for the race, I'm staying off property. Yes, BK Adventures in Titusville. Yes. Sorry. What is your favorite Wizarding World? What do you mean? I don't know. Like, what does that mean? Isn't there only di- one? Diagonally? Oh, you mean like, okay, I like the, I like, um. My mom's car. <laughs> I like the one, the dark one. Oh, Nocturne Alley. Nocturne Alley. Because it's cool. It's and like there's air, air conditioning. conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you done with babies? Yeah, I think we're done with yes. babies. We had somebody send us a doctor for me to go visit. Oh and yeah. He totally looked nothing like we thought he was going to look like. <laughs> he, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um ooh, just did the half marathon this weekend. Any plans for more run Disney? Yeah. Yeah. When you what what are you doing? I'm doing the the Halloween races in California. Yeah. It's going to be when that happens, I think I'm going to try to do Oogie Boogie 
the night before the 5K, I think. Oh, that'll be easy, though. No, it won't. The, well, the 5K? 5K will be easy, yeah. but like waking up. I'm so scared that... Does anybody else have this problem with their iPhone since it like uh, updated? You have to like turn your volume up for your alarm to work. I like, have, It's not just loud. I don't use the alarm. <laughs> it's just like if you leave the volume turned down, your alarm will be quiet. Hmm. It didn't used to do that. It used to be like, alarm. I say you just let it dictate your life. Like if you're not supposed to get up, you're not supposed to get up. But you if know? I paid for this 5K, <laughs> I want to wake up. That's true. <coughs> Excuse I, me. I say don't go to sleep. That's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, no. Um, ooh, you should check out Speakeasy Burger. Where's that? What's Speakeasy Burger? I can't even say Speakeasy. it. Speakeasy. I can't say it. Wait, where is that? What is that? I don't know. Ooh, best recommendation to stay at Disney Springs? What? The Disney Springs hotels? Oh, so that I would be the like... guess the Drury place here. That's like Saratoga. what everybody's saying. Oh, yeah. That too. Hmm. Everybody's saying it. It does that with timers? Oh, so weird. Oh, no. Brian, Brian says, just put my little girl to sleep. What did I miss? So much. I hope Everything. that you can go back and watch from the beginning because there a lot happened. So much happened. Oh, Donna has a good point. She says, call the front desk and have them give you a wake-up call. But one time we did that. Do you remember? Yeah. I forget which hotel we were at. I want to say it was a Disneyland hotel. We asked for a wake-up call and they didn't give it to us. They're like, no. Too bad. I know. Uh, I think we should probably go to bed. What time is it? Almost 10.30. Oh, it's 10. Yeah, I gotta like, I gotta go do stuff. I want to go to sleep. Oh, Amanda said, are we going to go to Dutch, Dutch Bros? I saw that the theme park foodies, they talked about it like they kept talking about Dutch Bros. Yeah, I guess it's like. Very good. Yeah. And so. I I mapped it and it was like an hour away from us with really? traffic. Because oh. it's out. You have to go through Champions Gate. Oh, I don't want to. It's not worth it to me. It's not worth it. Nothing's worth that to me. Have you been to the cow and cheeseburger place? Oh, what's no. it called? Cow and cheese. Yeah, we, we talked about it, but we haven't been yet. I want to go very bad. How did you and Nick become friends? Hmm. It's a good question. Didn't you guys talk about it on the podcast? Yes. Oh, watch the podcast. Yeah. Um, not in a mean way. Watch the podcast. Not in a mean way. <laughs> Don't watch it in a nice way. No, I mean, I felt like I was like yelling at them. I wasn't yelling at you. I was just saying, you can watch it on the podcast. <laughs> Got to check out that corporate history of the Gordon's Fisherman <laughs> Company. <laughs> It's the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> oh, Im Impotical says, have you oh, been to St. Augustine? dessert August coffee. Oh, is that what it is? Nobody wants that. Um, wait, really quick. What? I, 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 what happened? Have you been to St. Augustine, they said. Oh, yeah. We have. We have a lot of videos from St. Augustine from a few years ago. We did like haunting tours and yeah. stuff like that. It was, they, there's so many cool things there. Um, it is America's oldest city, you know. That's what they say. That is what they say. I don't know if it's true. Is it true? Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, um, Veda says, is the Rivian review coming soon? Yes. yes. Soon within like a month. Jerry Seinfeld is a relatable wake up, reliable wake up service on race day. Was that an episode of Seinfeld? I can't remember. Oh. Um, have you been to Hash House a go-go? I didn't know Orlando had one until today. We did. Um, so Crispy S'mores came and stayed. No, was it Crispy S'mores? I think it was Jen and Daryl. Yeah. Came and stayed with us. Our other British friends came and stayed with us and we took them there. And the food was so big. They were like amazed. Yeah. They're like, what is happening? They right were now? like, this is what's wrong with America. Yeah. <laughs> because it was so much. It was food. a lot of food. It was so much. Typical bedtime. What's our typical bedtime? Oh my, like midnight o'clock. Midnight, 1 a.m. Whenever the baby wakes up, and like two hours after that. Try the KFC pizza. I told Jen about this, oh, and she yeah. goes, that's chicken parmesan. <laughs> it I is, was like, right? you're right. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, breaking news, by the way. What? Who? Uh, uh, pizza Fari. Yeah. Changed their sauce on their chicken parmesan. Uh, to what? New sauce. Like a different brand, I guess. I don't know. I didn't try it. How different is it? I don't know. They just told me. I oh. walked by and they said, hey, we got new sauce. And I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Cool. And then you just walked away? No, I talked to her for a little oh, bit. I was okay. like, thank you for telling me. Um, oh, people were asking if we were going to do another thrifting video. I want to. Yeah, that's a good idea. I had fun when we did that. 
more thrifting. Yeah. Um, the Esther fam says home vlogs are the best. I want to do a home vlog soon. Yes. So I have one that I need to edit. Oh, there is. I know. We got to go. We got to go to bed, you guys. Disney does you guys need. should come to the Chocolatier in Hershey. Mm, I want to go to Hershey. Yeah. Because I feel like Jackson would love it. So we watched, um, he likes to watch roller coaster POVs. Yeah. And he loved watching the Hershey ones like over and over and over again. Somebody said, so AT&T gave everyone $5 for the outage last week. How do you get this $5? Yeah, because I think they should give us more. <laughs> Jen wants $35. Well, I just think like, how much do we pay? I didn't have we internet for the, for the was... whole day. I didn't have internet. So you should give me more money. It was nine dollars. So give that me nine dollars for the two. Of, well, those for the two of each one of us would get five dollars. They're giving us an extra dollar. I mean, I think they could give more. Why? Because they have they're make a prorating lot of money. for the day that you lost. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm just saying. I got a ten dollar <laughs> credit because I messaged them. Yeah, so we Please. need to do that. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Ooh, Chase said, "Are we excited for Oliver's birthday? We are so excited." I um. New chicken parmesan sauce from the Gorton's. Gordon. <laughs> from Gordon Gorton Seafood Company of Japan. <laughs> um, what was I? I am so excited though. Yes, I can't wait. Like I am. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm gonna really film this one too. Like before, I'm gonna film them setting it up, so you guys can see the full party because we didn't show oh, you yeah. Jackson's at all. So Jackson's Dis last birthday, not his first birthday. Disney needs more charging, and I wanted to say this when I was at. Hollywood Studios, I always ask them, like, do you guys have any charging? They're like, no, it's full. Every time I go, it's yeah. always full. Yeah. Um, but when I was leaving Hollywood Studios, this was the first time that I've noticed there were no Teslas. And it was four, there were only four charging spots at Hollywood Studios. It was four different cars, four different brands. Really? Yeah. Wow. It was pretty great. I was like, look at that. But they should get more spots then. They definitely should. And also, they make money off of those spots. Yeah. So, like, why? what are you just, you're sitting on... You're like you're you're wasting money. Right? You're losing it. Yeah, like what are you doing, Disney? <laughs> New sauce. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go to bed. New sauce. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh man. Okay. Right. But uh, we love you guys. Oh wait, can I um can I show you guys in the vlog though? Yeah, I, you guys want to do I brought vlog? the camera to show you guys. I'm like falling asleep right here. I know, I'm so tired. I have to, I got to go to bed. Okay. All right. So we did a live show. We haven't done a live show in 10,000 years, but tonight is the night. We did it. We got the new sauce. We got the new sauce. It was the Gordon, 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 the Gordon's Fisherman. <laughs> you need to Google Seinfeld marathon episode. Oh, okay. I will. I'll do it. I'm going to do it. I feel like I've seen every single episode of Seinfeld and I just can't recall this one. Has he run a, but has he run a marathon? I think he must be calling somebody to wake them up for the marathon. Oh, I probably missed it. Yeah. Something happened. So wait, let me show everybody. Oh, they're saying. Look at that. Okay, say hello. Everybody, thank you so much for coming to the live show. Say hello to your past self, future self. Make sure you don't look in the video past the computer. Why? There's a mess over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out, though. I'm always so amazed that anybody even shows up to these things because we never tell you when we're doing it. Yeah, and this one was at night. I know. Wild. It really was. So thank you guys so much. We had oh. a lot of fun talking to you. Here you go. This is for you guys. Oh, you guys can't hear it, but we put the applause noise on. They can't? <laughs> oh, the people on the vlog can't Yeah, they hear can't it. hear it. Oh. More Ooh. like Gordon. <laughs> oh, you never even used your buttons. I know. I didn't use many of my buttons. He got all these like silly buttons, and he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the rim shot on you, and then yeah. he never did. I could have when when we said Gord, so many Gordon's, so many Gordon's, things. <laughs> Gord, Gordon Gordon's. Oh my gosh! So thank you guys. Was the uh, was it too loud? Was it loud? How loud was it? Nice. They just said we can hear it. Oh okay, good. Yeah. All right, cool. We'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Um, we also have a lot of fun stuff planned tomorrow, so I'm super excited. For oh yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah. So. All right. Happy birthday, everybody. It was great to see you. Yay. Say hi to Gordon for us. Yes. And uh, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys soon.
All right, let's see here. Bye. Oh, no, I forgot I have work tonight. Oh, what? no. Uh-oh. That's what somebody said. No, really? Yeah. Oh, you no. Gotta, can't do that. Oh, no. You need to go to work. You got to go to work. You got to go to work, Charlie. <laughs> All right, bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. We'll no longer be live. Whoa.